Okay, so once you've crimped both ends, just um, twist the wires, make it nice and tidy. Alright, so once the ends of the wires are all tidy, you want to get the um, circuit board and come over to the power switch, this one here, not the reset button. No, I'm not actually going to do anything with this, just leaving it there so um, the button clicks on the PlayStation. And um, with this, you just want to leave it off for the moment. doesn't matter too much. And then if you have a multimeter, um, find out... Um, which part of the switch is which. Now on the last uh, time that I did this I used a different board and it's a it's an older board. This one's changed. It had the, the old LED there so I'm a, and the switch is different on this one. So um, assuming the switch is correct I put um, negative and positive on there and um, what it should be is um, this end so the power in um, negative there and positive there and then with this end power out it should be negative there positive there black for negative red for positive and um, so I'm gonna go ahead um, so yeah if you have a multimeter or voltmeter other one um, go ahead and test that because it's better to test it than to do what I'm doing which is trial and error um, yeah I don't have one so I'm just gonna have to sort of roll with the punches and hope that I solder it on right so um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and hope for the best alright so um, now I'm going to start soldering Alright, so um, this is the last part of the power board, so now we're going to be soldering the LED. So we're using the original LED that's on the PlayStation already, so here it is. Um, this is a newer model on the older, I don't know, CPH 1000, but there's a larger LED. Um, that's fine, whatever LED you have, it'll work. Um, <coughs> So I'm not sure what side's positive and what side's negative, and if you have a different model than me, it could be different. So what I'm going to do is put the positive uh, red wire that I've got here, I'm going to solder it onto here, and then solder the black one onto here. And then I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm just going to touch them. Um, touch it like this, touch it like that, and um, see what way the LED works. So I'm just going to go and put some solder on the end of these wires to start with. Uh, good if you have a stand or something to do this, which I don't. Alright, so once you've soldered the wires, um, so I'll come to here and then solder it onto the, onto the switch. So now, um, come to test it, so uh, I'm just going to plug the Raspberry Pi in just so I can see when the switch is on so I've got the plugged in, the switch must be off the switch is on oh, sorry uh, I'm going to see the Raspberry Pi is running there so I know which orientation to put the switch you want to get these two wires and then just touch it to the LED. Alright, um, on to the next bit. So, um, 
I've gone ahead and I've just taped that up and made it nice and tidy. So I've got the cords coming out. Um, well, so power and switching cords coming out of here, and I'm going to have them coming out at this point because they need to come out through this wall here. So um, what I'm going to do is just cut with my um, oversized saw for this job uh, and cut here and here. And then just snap the piece out. So um, you can do this bit however you want to, or just copy me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that. And uh, when you get to there, just snap that out. Um, wasn't the cleanest, but I uh, hope you can see that. Hang on, I'll just. So yeah, you can see I've um, snapped that out just there, so the cords can come through. So just get rid of all the dust and go ahead and get your power board cords through there. Cut it deep enough, so um, I'm just kind of taking the blade out of the saw so I can actually. I'm just gonna try that again. And just because of the poor way I position my cord, I'm just going to um, snap this out as well. Um, be careful when you do this, but it's it's pretty easy. Oh, and I also snapped the little uh, peg off there before on purpose. So we'll see why soon. So, um, yeah, now that's fitting in there. And the reason I did it like that is because this needs to come up back through here. Right, uh, for this next bit, we're going to be doing the power output. So, um, I've already soldered this on, but I recommend doing this before you uh, do the soldering. So, um, you want to get a saw. So I've just got the saw blade here, and then you want to just cut through um, the power pins. Might be a little bit of work for the metal, but uh, probably the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll just come back home when I'm finished. Alright, so now that I've done that, um, this is pretty loose. Which is what we want, so you just want to pull that off for a second. Um, don't break these because we are going to put it back on. But um, what you want to do now is just get these, get the pliers, and try and get the metal bits out. All right. So um, once you mark the area that you're going to cut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. This will cut the piece in half, but you've still got the screw holes. So it still will have it to be attached and make it rigid again by um, gluing this into it. So I've just marked, I've cut the whole thing in, but I've just marked the lines that I'm going to cut. So a good guideline, um, well, assuming you have the same parts as me, is just the edges of the curved bit. So 
I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting right there. Um, if you make it a little bit thin, don't worry, or a little bit too wide, don't worry, but try to get it as close as you can. If it's too thin, um, you can just file it down, and if it's too wide, well, it's just going to look a little bit bad, but it won't. Okay, so um, once you've cut that into the two pieces like this, um, you don't need the middle anymore. So how that's going to look is you're going to have like one piece glued there and the other piece there. And then those two pieces will be screwed onto the circuit board. And that with a whole lot more hot glue should hopefully uh, hold it together. So uh, yeah, if you want you can take this back out to the board and uh, try and screw it back on. So and it's a little bit funny. Um, yeah, I'll...